by Ben Greg Walker from GDI Cooling. We've installed this LG water block in about six months ago um, for this house, which is in a village. It runs off oil and um, the customers came to us and said, could we please change it to the heat pump? So originally this house had a, an oil burner inside. It was in this pantry um, with, a, with a large tank outside in the um, garden. Uh, literally the customer wanted to save space inside uh, by losing the, the old um, oil boiler. So what we did is we removed the old oil boiler, we fitted this heat pump, which is a monoblock, so everything is outside. Right, so as you can see here, we've got the monoblock, um, we've opened it up. Normal system, you've got your refrigeration system over here with your controllers. On this side is what we'd have as the, the water side of the, of the um, equipment. Um, it has its own built-in uh, water pump, so theoretically the water pump inside you will not need anymore. Keeps, keeps the noise level down. Um, there's a buffer tank at the back here, which was also built in. At the back of the unit you have two 28 mil um, return and supply uh, water connections. The unit is situated fairly close to the house as you can see. Uh, the reason being is due to the drop in temperature in the hot water. So theoretically LG is saying that the unit should not be more than 10 meters away from your cylinder inside. On the side of this fence is a patio area where the neighbors sit and have their coffee morning coffees and everything. We have spoken to them over the last couple of months and they in the beginning did not even realize that we had a heat pump out here. They do not hear the noise. Uh, mainly all you hear is when you're outside where I am now is the fan and a slight humming of the compressor. As you can see what we have here is the original tank that ran off the oil boiler. Right. What we've done in the site is we've retrofitted. We haven't gone and installed everything brand new. So we still have the same radiators, um, same pipe work, uh, same um, tank. What we do have is everyone says this, this system is set to 50 degrees, all right, which is giving us an average of 22, 23 degrees in the house. Uh, the hot water cylinder is also set to 50 degrees, which is, as you can see, it's not the biggest hot water cylinder in the world. There are three people in this house. They either have baths or showers, and they have never run out of hot water, and they all bath in, or shower in the, in the evening. This system is slightly different, where before your hot water and your central heating were all in one. All right. This is still very similar, but they slightly separated. So instead of having a three-way valve, we have a three-way diverter valve, which either switches either hot water or central heating. It does not do them both at the same time. So therefore, we put in a buffer tank. This buffer tank then soaks up that slight differences when it's heating up the hot water or heating up the central heating. So therefore, the customer does not realize that it's either heating just the hot water or just the, the central heating. So here we have the LG controller. As you look, you see it looks like one of their standard controllers but this one is designed for the LG um, monoblock for the outside unit. 50 degrees we find is more efficient. LG recommend 50 degrees due to the efficiency of the system and any hotter is not required. It will just be wasting energy. On the system as well, you can fit a Wi-Fi dongle on your outdoor unit, so therefore you have an app on your phone, so you can operate this anywhere in the world. Theoretically, if you turn your heating off over when you've gone on a holiday for two weeks, you can then set it to come back on when you land at the airport. What is nice with this is all the R, all the R32 gas is contained in here, all right? Um, so theoretically, when installed on site, um, there's no need of breaking into the, into the refrigeration system. Um, all it is is two water connections at the back and a power and a power supply. As standard, when you buy the system, it comes with a one-year warranty. If you've gone on the LG course, that then gets buffed up to a three-year warranty. Once you've done that, once the system has been um, commissioned and installed. Um, LG ask for the paperwork of the schematics, pipe run, uh, setting up system, everything, amperage drawn, you submit all that and they are happy with it, it then gets increased to a seven year warranty on the system. And what's nice with this is the warranty is held with the house owner. So therefore, if um, a company goes under or disappears or something, the owner still has the warranty on him and anyone else can come out who's qualified and come out and repair it.